Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinger, and we're playing some Fallout 3. So in the last one, we got told we gotta go over to Rivet City, which is this gigantic broken tankard here. Now, I was already here once off-screen because the first thing I do whenever you leave the vault is I bolt, ignore everything, bolt immediately to Rivet City to get the, um... Uh, intelligence bobblehead from the science lab. Ignore everybody, don't talk to anyone, just go and get it. And you do that so you can get maximum intelligence. Like, the higher your intelligence is, the more skill points you get when you level up, right? So, make sure your intelligence is at 10 as quickly as possible in order to get those skill points. It's not that way. Yeah, that's the Capital Preservation Society. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Oh, shut up. Oh, I know, I did say science lab, this is fine. Oh, science lab. Ha! <laughs> you gotta go find Madison Lee, who you guys might remember from my Fallout 4 Let's Play. Hello, ma'am. What do you want? Hi. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. <gasps> like who? You're James's daughter, aren't you? Yes. What are you doing here? Don't worry about it. Uh, you know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? No. I suppose James never told you. Typical. James I'm is Dr. rude! I'm Dr. Madison Lee. <laughs> I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. <gasps> You'll have to think me this has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. I'm trying to find my father. Where'd he go? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. Nope. For that matter, aren't you supposed you to be abandoned involved? Me. James said he left you there. Uh, this isn't about me. This is about my father. Now, where is he? Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with Excuse me. you. I want my dad. Sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. He, but he me, knows. He refused to listen to he me. He knows how to make it work. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, where's the old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. So go there right now. Got it. <laughs> Uh, what is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. What do you mean, not quite according to schedule? Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my yep, own. Yep, she's still a jerk in this game. I don't have game. the resources <laughs> to support James's foolish She's a jerk in this game and in the last game. Him. She's just an all-around jerk. Come on, isn't there something you can do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for Charisma. you. Charisma! Um, so this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Everything! It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. You don't say! In this post-apocalyptic world, uh... We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we had James more time, figured it out. Or better equipment. James has figured out how to make it work. You happened. <gasps> uh -oh. It wasn't just you. Sorry. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Sorry, not sorry? Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Ouch. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Uh, let's talk about something else. Okay. Um, bye! Good luck finding your father. <laughs> okay, she went from don't chase after your father to good luck finding your father. Um, lady? 
make up your mind? So now we gotta go to the... Oh, hello. Hi. Are you lost? No, go away. We have to go find Daddy. Daddy dearest, Liam needs some Fujimoto taken father down. <laughs> Which means you have to go all the way to the old Jefferson Memorial whatever. Hello. I believe is... Yep, it's right there. It's that building there. Which means I have to try to not die. Uh, I just considered jumping into the water and swimming, but then I remembered radiation. Radiation is a thing. And I don't want to get irradiated. Do you want to get irradiated? If you do, you have problems. Because you shouldn't want to get irradiated. Radiation is bad. Unless you have cancer, then it's a good thing. It's still bad for you. But it kills cancer cells. But it also kills the other cells. Science is weird. Take something like radiation that can do so much harm and figure out a way to use it for good. Like in um, radiation therapy for cancer, or nuclear reactors, making all kinds of energy. I've actually been to one, by the way. I have been to a um, functional research reactor, and I actually got to go into the reactor room. Um, I got to go into the reactor room, and I got to see all of the little science gizmos. All the little scienceiness. And they even, they turned off all of the lights. Because when we looked down into the giant pool where the reactor was, you could see it. But when they turned down, on the, turned all the lights off, we could see the blue glow. The, like, radioactive blue glow out of the reactor. It was awesome. Okay. What am I doing? I'm repairing stuff. What do you mean I can't repair it? Excuse you. Oh, I need more repair. That's why. Yeah. Dig nabbit. Dig nabbit. Dig nabbit. And that's something. It's it on my inventory at least. Uh oh. I kill. I kill. I had to take a second to combine everything in my inventory. Okay, my vats is shite right now. They have the same kind of rifles as me. Good thing they have. You? <laughs> what did I, did I step on a landmine that I didn't notice? <laughs> Probably. Oh shit, there's a dude with a grenade! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Please don't kill me! I just want to find my dad! In my shitty raider armor! <laughs> okay, could you not? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you just got a nail board, so I don't care. Oh, balls. Get him! Get him again! Get him again! Oh, I missed. Bonk! Okay, got him that time. And I didn't get blown up by a random grenade. Excellent. Okay, I'm super spoopy hidden. Super spoopy hidden. Which I'm not very, very spoopy hidden. So this is where they did Project Purity. Oh, hi, how you doing? No, 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 no. No. No! 
The answer is no. The answer is leave me alone. Oh, I took your head. And there's your eyeballs. They went flying. <laughs> so we've got, oh, we've got, oh, I meant to take the frog grenade. I don't really need a nail, nail board, like a board made of nails. It's less useful for me. I think I'm close to leveling, actually. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm actually quite far from a grenade. Leave me alone! Why does it always have to be me? Point blank shots! Get wrecked, Mr. Super Mutant! I'm not gonna eat anything, okay, dude? Oh, Jesus! It's like, where did he come from? Let's just eat some random crap. Uh, some music colas. There we go. And I'll uh, use a stim pack. Ah, itchy eye. Okay. And he's got nothing useful. Of course not. If I remember correctly, the actual entrance is down here. Yes, okay. I haven't completely forgotten how to play this game. Just, just slightly forgotten. Into the gift shop. <laughs> Cause my daddy went to the gift shop, apparently. Uh oh. I'm being sneaky. And he's dead. Nugget. What the, what the fudge nugget? I, I don't even. I, this is not modded, FYI. I do not have a single mod installed. I don't have a single mod installed. I swear, no mods. No mods here. Um. Uh, um. Well, he has nothing useful. I'm gonna leave this Eldritch Abomination alone. <gasps> but why? Um. Okay, that's gonna be important, but for later. C could you stop? Could you, could you not? You're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> Darn it. No. No, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please. Pork and beans. Ooh, and a box. No, take everything. Everything. We even take that. Don't really need it, but is that guy still glitching back there? Probably is. Is in here. Oh, no. He's following me. He's following me. Damn jerks stalking me. There's a memorial rotunda. And here's Project Purity. Can I drink the water? Search Dad's holidays for clues to his location. Okay. Here it is! Project Purity and all of the pure wa- Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you, I just- all, all of the clean, pure- Oh my god, so weird! <laughs>
Oh. No. Oh, the actual memorial. Oh, Jesus. No, I don't have any. Ah! Don't kill me. Somebody's trying to call me, but it's a telemarketer, so I don't care. Okay, stop hitting me. It's rude. Well, that's a couple holotapes. tapes. Let's see what they say. Should be under miscellaneous, I think. Yep. Maybe? Nope. Uh, data... notes? There we go. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever Ooh, I could find. Oh, shit! <laughs> it was a vault facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So he snuck so through the vault to try to find something. After half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. <laughs> wow! But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. Mm -hmm. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called Gek. Yep, the Gek. The Garden they need the Gek. Creation the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Super important to the other Fallout games, especially one, I think. Because the entire main story is you trying to find a Gek, a replacement Gek, I think, if I remember correctly. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Uh-oh. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge so we need to, we need to go to vault 1 112 journals hollow tapes computer records maybe even experiments if i could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius project purity would become a reality dun, dun, dun. i'm off to vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running all i know is that it's west of some place called evergreen mills and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Dun dun dun! So we have to go to Vault 112. Gain access to Vault 112. Awesome. And that is all the way out here. Oh, Jesus. Which means the best way to get there is to fast travel back to Megaton, which we need to do anyway so I can get myself a player house. Oh, Jesus. Kill it! <laughs> How about I kill you instead? How about that? I crippled your head, dude. And now you're dead. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I gotta eat a shit ton of food. <laughs> Just gotta stand here and eat a bunch of food. Om nom. Om nom. Anomina. Oh, I didn't mean to fudge you nugget. Know,
I'm going to kill you. It's going to happen. It's just up to you with, like, the quickness of your death. No? You want to prolong it? Okay. I can do that. <laughs> prolong it an extra little second. Is it going to be dudes? Nope. Okay. Is there still a glitching body? Hope not! Oh, thank god, it's gone. <laughs> I don't like the bodies with the glitching in the, in the stuff. Because it's weird, and it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, right, we're gonna go to Megaton. All the way to Megaton, because it cuts the distance a little bit. And I need to go to Megaton anyway, so we can defuse the bomb, because I finally have enough explosives to defuse the bomb. We're all still breathing. I know you didn't screw up. Good evening. Hold on, Sims. I gotta do this thing first, okay? Coming with the clouds. And every uh, bring the bomb to explode no. Time to disarm the bomb. I should Yay! Glory. I did good. Now I gotta have a house. And no, it wasn't gonna blow up Megaton, don't say anything about that. I'll Hi. be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Yes, I did. Here's your reward. Why did you guys make a Hell, city around why an don't you move unexploded in? atomic Could bomb? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. There we go. Okay. So, bye. Take care now. Our house is... Up and over here, like he says, there's not- it doesn't look that good right now, because it doesn't have much stuff in it, but... Hello, Wadsworth! Hey, you're not Codsworth! Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Uh... Tell me a joke. Two atoms are in a bar. One says, I think I lost an electron. The other says, are you sure? To which the other replies, I'm positive. Science jokes are the best! My humor emitter array requires recharging. Rude. I'd like something to drink. Certainly, madam, here you are. Yay, purified water. Certainly, madam, here you are. Certainly, madam, here you are. How much can I get out of him? Darn it! I can only have so many. Okay. Uh, bye! I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, madam. Madam? So this place looks like crap right now. But we'll spruce it up. Hey! Our two bobbleheads. Intelligence and... or medicine and intelligence. I'm not allowed to pick up any of the other, like, perception, strength, now. I can't pick any of those up until we reach level 30. I can pick up the skill ones. But I can't pick up any of the other ones. Because we want to make sure we have perfect... Everything is perfect with perfect tens and all of my stats. And it's easier to do that if you don't pick up any of the bobbleheads for your skip... For your stats. Like your Welcome perception strength. To Megaton. Until you reach level 30, because there's a perk you can get level 30 that automatically raises all of your special stats up to 9. So we gotta go... Scientific Pursuits! Thirsty partner. This way! Try Forever! Moriarty's. Hi! I was being shot at! Oh. That's it! That's it! Okay! Hi! Hi, lady! Who are you? Oh god, that's a rat scorpion. Um, she's... 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 she's very dead, isn't she? Kill the stinger! How am I gonna survive this? Yep. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run! Don't tell me. <gasps> oh, I got one hit! <laughs> no! I have to walk so much further now! <sighs> no, I have to walk all the way back! That's gonna take forever! <laughs>
Okay, I'm almost there. I think I see that. I think it's that in the distance. No, get away from the rats. It's a girl. I think it's this right in the distance here. I had to go around a gigantic raider camp place. Because I didn't want to go through it. Because <laughs> that seemed like a terrible idea. But we should... Oh. 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 Oh, 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 hi. Oh, oh, um, hi. Please don't kill me. I don't want to have to do this all over again. Like, really, I'm, I'm begging you. Do not kill me. Like, seriously, do not kill me. Okay. Excellent. I have not died. Cool. I'll throw my pit boy light on. Into the Smith Casey's garage. Now, in here somewhere should be the entrance to a vault. I also hear bugs. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Gross. Is that a skeleton over there? New code quantum. Awesome. What's in here? Oh, nothing. I feel like something's gonna... Yep. Oh, Jesus! Oh, holy shnikes. Okay, what do I have? I have... I can use this. There's two of those and one of those. A couple more of those. Awesome. I'm jumped by mole rats because my sneak skill's not high enough. Oh, hey, Vault Tech Lunchbox. Now I'm on the table. Try and get me, nerd. Haha. -ha. Lunchbox and a conductor. Wait, why am I going so slow? Oh, right. I accidentally turned my run off. Okay. Ew! Oh, hatch. There we go. So it's in here. Ooh, a gun cabinet. I'll be taking these. Aw, there's none left. <laughs> okay, into the hatch. Oh, no, never mind. Electrical switch? There we go. Into the dank, dark, little vault. We just escaped the vault, now we have to go back into a vault. Great. Good thing is that I've almost leveled so we can get more repair skill. <gasps> uh oh. Hi, how you doing? Aki! I kill you fast! <laughs> oh, jeez. No, leave me alone. Into Vault 112. To find our dear old popper. <gasps> there it is. Into the totally not decrepit vault. <laughs> the fact that this thing is so easy to open but it's not infested by raiders already. Hold on. Seems legit. Hi. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Sorry about that. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Tranquility Lounger, eh? Tra Great. Yeah, sure, I'll put this on, lady. Tranquility Lounger is available. Please be seated. This seems like a terrible idea. Also, oh, hold on. 
sorry about that, you guys. Um, I had to reload the game because something popped up in the bottom of right of my screen. I don't know if it actually got caught in the recording. But I tried to exit out of it, and in doing so, alt tabbed out of the game, and it wouldn't let me alt tab back in, so I had to force close the game. Oh, old games, you're so much fun sometimes. So we are going to go sit in a tranquility lounger. And it won't let me... Okay, yeah, there we go. I can cheat. So there's people. Bald people. I wonder how long they've been stuck in these things. It's a broken one. These are creepy. That's a creepy. That's a creepy. That's a creepy. That's a creepy. And a creepy. And a not creepy. And a creepy. Daddy! <laughs> this guy's like his dad. Okay, here we go. Going to the tranquility lounger, I guess. That was a terrible idea. Oh, terrible idea. <laughs> I don't like this idea, mama. Oh, terrible idea. <laughs> Oh, okay then. Creepy time for the creepy little girl thon. Um Oh dear God. I'm a child. <laughs> and I leveled up. <laughs> okay. Let's definitely get some more repair, because I want to get my repair up to 40. Get this up to 40. Ah, perfect. And then I need comprehension! Done. Okay, I'm a creepy little girl. Got it. Hi, Dad! Yes, I know that's my dad. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Uh, he's an older guy around 50 or so. He's a scientist looking for Dr. Braun. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. Okay, I guess. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbomb cry. Timmy Newsbomb, who's He's that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. But He's I'm not a, a kid, I'm an baby. adult. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Um, I don't like you. You're creepy. So we're going to deal with you in the next one. I'm going to stand over here by Dad. Yes, I do. I know that's our dad. Um, so my name is Ms. Gary Tanager, and I've been playing some Fallout 3. In the next one, we're gonna, uh, explore Tranquility Lane. Well, hi there. Wait, what? Uh, hi? See my dad? Nope. Afraid not. Okay, I'm busy. Can you tell me about Timmy's bomb? My boy Timmy? Good kid. Straight-laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close-knit family. Uh... Bye! Take care now. This is some Stepford Wives shit. So I'll see you guys in the next video.